Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the game Snake in Java. So, yeah, this is going to be a few videos. This first video is just going to, we're just going to make the the main, like, frame. So, <clears throat> sorry, got food caught in my throat. So, let's make a new project, and... Let's just call it snake. Um, yeah, let's make a new package. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. Usually you just go by what your website name is. So, alright, this is just the main package. In here we're going to make a class and we'll call that frame. Now, what we're going to do in frame is basically make our main window. So the first thing I want to do is make JFrame or frame extend JFrame. So basically, this class is going to be a JFrame. Um, now let's add, let's make our constructor. Ugh, I'm having trouble typing. And create a just a couple methods here. Um, the main method. And in here we'll create a new frame. So when the when the program starts up, we're just gonna create a new frame, or a new object of this frame class, and we'll call in it in here. Um, so the first thing let's let's just do set default close operation. Um, for those of you who do not know what this is, basically it says that when you press the X button on your window it's gonna like shut down the entire program so that's very important uh, title we'll just call this snake um, resizable false right in here we're gonna uh, we're gonna use grid layout just to make sure that our that our like canvas panel actually is centered on the screen um what else do we need? We need to make a new screen object. Um but we don't have the screen class created yet, so we'll do that in a second. Um and then we're gonna add S to the frame and we'll pack it. Basically what pack does is it says, okay, whatever is in this window, make the window that size. So whatever we set the preferred size for um our panel, like the screen class, is what the size of the frame will be. And the last two things we need is set location relative to null, which will basically center our frame on the middle of the screen, so right in the middle here, and set visible to true. Um, yeah, um, let's create a new let's create a new class in here. And in here, we're actually going to go up in this package area, and we'll call this graphics. We'll add it. We'll we'll like make a new subfolder off of that, and we're going to create our screen class. Now, actually, let's go back in here and import screen, so we have it and we can use it. And then, let's see, in our screen class, we're going to make it extend um, JPanel. So basically, just like the the frame class, this class is a JPanel. Um, let's actually import that public screen. So we'll create our constructor. And here, actually, let me just run this to make sure everything's working correctly. Java application and always save. Okay, good. So we have our window, and as you can see, it's very small. <laughs> That's because we haven't set a size for the JPanel yet. So that's the first thing we're actually going to do. Create two variables. Uh, public static final ints width. And that'll equal 800 and height. Except to spell it correctly. And 800. Uh, let me just turn on my numbers. Um, so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna do set preferred size to new dimension um, 
for width height height. Okay, so now when we run this, it'll have we'll have a bigger screen here. Okay, that's good. Um, let me see. Next thing we're gonna need to do is create a few variables. Um, we need a thread and um, a running boolean. Now we'll create a few methods here. Public void start start. This will just start our game and another method stop to stop the game. Now in our constructor we're going to call start so that way when we create the whole game it'll start the game right as we open it up. Um, let me see what else. Uh, okay so in here we're going to set running equal to true um, and we'll do thread equals new thread this and we'll just call this thread game loop um, and then thread dot start now we also need a another method public void run and we'll have to implement the interface runnable so basically this this right here this this <laughs> the this right here is referring to to this class itself and it's saying that we have to use this interface so the 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 the, the methods required from runnable are public void run so when we do thread dot start right here it's like saying run except we know that we're actually starting this thread instead of running so it's just to make it easier to read or to know what we're doing um, up uh, here we're going to do while running um, so this is like our main loop and in here we're going to just tick and repaint so basically what this is doing is the tick method is updating stuff and um, the paint method is basically just painting onto this component so that's like a this paint method is actually a built-in method to any um, to any like component class any any because um, JPanel is a component so paint goes along with it um, so actually if we run this if we put in if we put in running here I believe we should get just running right down here so and also we can just paint some random stuff but I'm not gonna do that right now because yeah that's pretty much all we needed to do this tutorial so thank you for watching uh, be sure to subscribe and next time I will be back and we will start what we start we'll start the snake alright thanks for watching